I don't I guess right. No, I mean come on. Okay. Is everything on too strong? Shit. Hmm? Oh darling, there you are. Ah <sighs> what? No. Did I look worried? I don't think so. No, please. I knew you'd show up. How could you resist? <sighs> I'm so excited. Our first date. What do you mean it's not a date? <sighs> Fine. Hanging out. If that's what you want to call it. To make it easier on you. Fine. I mean, what's the difference, really? So, I don't see why it's a big deal. Mm. No, I think you can go on a date on someone that you're not really sure if you're in a relationship with yet. You're testing stuff out, right? That's what we're doing. Fine, we're hanging out as friends. Said I wouldn't push you. But I must say, even if this is just a friendly hangout. Thank you for agreeing to it. Well, you weren't exactly super sure. <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, uh, sorry, I'm not very good at being serious, but I'm happy to see you. Wasn't really sure if I'd freaked you out too much last time, so, yeah. This is nice that you showed up. Well, I, I don't know. I'm all human to the most accepting and seeing as you did. Summon me accidentally. Yeah. But it's been a long time since I've just had a friend to hang out with. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm used to people summoning me and either they want a, uh, <clears throat> you know, <sighs> that sort of time with me. Or, um, Mm, some people just summon me for comfort, to be honest. Whether it's uh, aftercare that they haven't got, or whether it's um, they want to be kind of romantically comforted, reassured that they're attractive. I can dish out compliments all day. And I'm honest, you know? Oh, well, even if they don't believe it. But, uh, yeah. No one really summons me just because they want to have a hangout. Not that you summoned me for that either, and you didn't mean to summon me, but... Uh... I've never really just hung out with a human with the purpose of it being... Friendship. Or, well, with the idea of something more being... An option, but not a guarantee, and I I don't need it to be a guarantee to enjoy hanging out with you. I... I don't know. I think this is nice. Well, uh, it's hard to make friends with humans when you never really know, I mean... I don't hate my job and the way that my body has to feed, but I love this realm. <laughs> I like humans and what they make, but 
it's hard to uh, hang around in areas that are mostly populated by humans and not be um, what do you want to call it? Cat called. And not just for the way I dress and present, I mean that's a whole different issue, but I mean just for visibly being an incubus. Oh. Some humans can be pretty uh, uncool towards concubus and concubi. <laughs> Um, so mostly, you know, my friends tend to be other concubi or other demons. Other non-human creatures. Which is a shame, really. But even then, I mean, some other non-human creatures do have the same ideas. It's not just humans who summon us. But, you know, concubi don't summon concubi. Not that... We don't have relations with ourselves. There's plenty of people who are happily married who are both concubi, just that. Ah. Uh, the way that we feed. I suppose it's like a. If you think about a vampire, right? They need to feed on blood, but they can't just drink the blood of other vampires. I mean, they can, but it doesn't really feed them the same, you know? They can't live off that. As much as we can have relations with our own kind, it doesn't, um... We can't solely do that. Don't know why, it's just how we were made. And there's plenty of resources these days and places to go where you don't have to be summoned and do stuff face to face. Um, but... I don't mind it. I enjoy it. There's just certain ideas about my kind, you know. There's plenty of us who don't have strong sexual feelings and attractions and just see doing this as work. It's just work. It's just feeding, you know. Like, some humans are. They love food and, and, and going to restaurants and eating different types of food and stuff. And for some people, they don't love food, but they just eat it because they know they have to. But they're not big into food. It's just a thing they have to do. And that's how some of us feel about, you know, sex. Which is a crazy concept to some of you. But... I'm getting very sidetracked. What I mean is... This is nice. To be able to hang out with a human and trust that you don't have any ulterior motives, or you're not secretly hoping for something, even though, of course, I'd be willing to provide. It's just... different. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> I've stood talking around for a out here, and, uh... I don't mind temperatures too much, I'm not as sensitive to them as humans, but... I look a little cold. Shall we go inside? Hmm. I haven't been in this mall before, so I'm... Excited. But I've heard there's some good couple of small, uh, more independent type shops that have uh, old fashioned, so I'm told. We can check out the more main shops too. Problem with sometimes with smaller shops, they don't always have a um, dressing room, changing room. You know, so, uh, we'll see. Should we go in? I do appreciate you coming with. I know we talked about it a bit last time. 
sometimes people are a bit embarrassed to be seen with them, you know. Well, the whole wearing skirts and stuff and uh, preferring to uh, hmm. whatever and dressing like this and presenting like this and um Not being, um, well, addressing like this and having longer hair and then also not having the deepest voice. And not that anyone could tell or not what I've got between my legs, but all of that combined doesn't make going into the men's dressing rooms exactly easy. But then it's like, it's not easy to go in the women's either. You know, people don't want me going in the men's because they think I look like a girl, but then if I try and go in the women's, they think that I'm a guy, so where do I go? <laughs> it's like, I'm stuck halfway between, and not everywhere has gender-neutral rooms. But, fuck it, I'm not scared of them. Though, to be honest, it probably would be safer to go in the women's. But, I go in the women's and they think... I'm a man who's broken in, who's going to do something, but then I go in the men's. And even if they think I'm a man, they're obviously going to think that I'm queer, darling. I mean, look at me. So, uh... You know, I've never had to worry about being physically beaten up if I go in the ladies, but... They're only humans. I can take them. <laughs> They forget sometimes Incubi is still demons at the end of the day. No matter if we look lean or short or whatever. Not muscular. Ah. Oh. We have so much more physical strength than you lot do. Which is also why I thought it would be nice to have you with me because we touched on it a bit last time, you're a bit worried about going in the men's section. But anyone says anything to you, you'll have me to deal with. I don't want you worried if you want to buy more androgynous or feminine fashions or whatever fears you have about expressing yourself. Whatever is honest to you. Say fuck them and do it. I know it's not that easy. I you know humans are, frankly, bloody stupid. But <laughs> at least for today, hey, you've got me by your side. If you could, in the future, imagine that I'm watching over you, like some sort of creepy angel. <laughs> Angels are fucking creepy. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, um. Do you want to go in here? Oh, I know it's pretty basic, but <laughs> um, they have pretty much skirts and shirts and all sort of colours. And... Sometimes I like layering things, having like a plain uh, coloured t-shirt and then put something else on top of. Or having like a long sleeved underneath a short sleeved shirt. I only have some black long sleeves, I think, if they have anything in, like, a dark purple. I know I tend to wear just the same colours, but... So... It's kind of hard when you have, uh... Differently coloured skin to find stuff that matches. Um... Purples, blacks, greys, that tends to be what I wear. Well... Uh... Ah, shit's with me. I think the way it goes originally, uh, I think it's that concubine we started out with, uh, shades of purple and blue, uh, anywhere from kind of like a light kind of baby blue through to 
indigos and that and purples. Um, and then once we started, um, I guess once we, uh, once we started you know, breeding with different species, um, from what I don't quote me on this, but I think the those of us who have um, shades of pinks and reds comes from um, this is really kind of scratchy, but I think it comes from um, pretty sure from breeding with regular demons. Oh. Yes. And then you get, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, then we were purples and blues, and then uh, kind of the red comes from demons, and then I guess the pinks too, and then different shades of kind of pinkish purples from then breeding again with, you, you get the idea. <laughs> so pretty much uh, all shades of blues, purples, pinks, some reds. Mm, no, never seen a concubine with any kind of green or yellow, orange. Yeah. But, uh... It's hard to find things that match. You know? You lot have kind of what what you call nude tones. Goes well with a lot of stuff, but purple. <laughs> well, at least everything goes with black, right? I mean, it's fine. I like purple, but I've never really found another color that looks good on me. Bit of a shame, but I don't know. Maybe it gives me a memorable look. <laughs> I'm gonna take these. Do you have skirts? Do you want to come look at skirts? Oh, come on. No one needs to know that you're looking at them too. Mm, A-lines? No, no, no. I like pleated. But sometimes I have to get them ugh, online. Oh, this... We have some plaid ones. Not purple, though. Oh, there's a grayscale one. I can work with that. I can work with that. See any that you like? <sighs> Do you see any that you like? Like they don't have to. If you want to try one on, does it make you any less of a man? Does it make me less of a man? Well, how is it different? Well, flattered as I am that you think I look good in them, how do you know that you won't? I won't force you, but I, I think you should try one on. And if you hate it, then you know for sure that you hate it and we won't do this again. Look, you can come into the changing rooms with me, and we can say that I'm trying both of them on. People try stuff in different sizes all the time. So. Well, I'm just gonna pick one up in a. Size nine. No, maybe this would help if you just told me. Right. Shall we go try these on? I mean, shall I go try these on?
And don't worry about it. Honestly, at the end of the day, they're not going to say anything. Most of the time, people just think there should be thoughts in their head. I don't know if that makes you feel better. Anyway, as I said, uh, snapping my fingers and... Well, I'm not a violent person, but... Look, you see, really, at the end of it, all you have to actually do is make them think that you're a cis guy. To be honest, that's the safer way to do it. Um, she's hard. Though, you know, there's plenty of cis men who do look androgynous and do look feminine. Why should I have to want to grow a beard for people to take me seriously as a guy? I don't want to grow a beard. Could you imagine me with... Ew, no. I mean, cute on others, but me, no. No, no. Oh. Well, coming in with me. You don't have to say anything. I can't. Look, and if it comes down to it, I'll just don't know. <laughs> you don't know what it is, right? I mean, I don't make a habit of it. I'm sort of like what vampires have, right? You can sort of... Uh... It's not as far as a love spell. It wouldn't make someone do something they really didn't want. It just makes them more... Uh... Like, we couldn't use it on someone and then try and do something with them if they didn't want to. It just makes them more... Uh... Like a moment of a kind of daydreamy kind of floaty feeling. I only use it if I think I'm about to get in some trouble. Well, as I said, you know, not everyone takes too kindly to someone walking around for some reason. That'll get me out of fights. Anyway, I'm sure we'll come to that. Yeah, mate, I know that this is the men's change room. Ah, uh, just these two, please. Yeah, cheers. Ah, uh, uh, no worries. <laughs> I get it all the time, but... Hey. Ah, uh, no, my mate's just coming in with me. Yeah. No, they're not joining with me. These are all for me. Oh, uh, could I leave these ones with you, actually? I'm only trying on the... Skirts, yeah. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for the tag. Uh, come on. What did I say? Honestly, you know, is that how I wish I had to talk all the time? No, but... Let's find one at the end. There's a few free in a row here. They'll never notice. Come on. <sighs> Look. Either you can go in the one next to me and try this on. Or we could share the same cubicle. Try them on together. Fine. I'll get dressed myself. I'll leave you out here with this. Let's see if you decide to do so. Move this way. Right. Where is the unzip on us? Mm. I wish it was a little more highly smooth. Mm. Does fit well. Doesn't bunch up at the back. Mm. Well, darling, what do you think? Come. Um, please tell me you didn't run away. Oh. You went next door. You were right in there. I, I can 
come in if you're having trouble. It won't be embarrassing. Can I come in and see? Oh, darling. You're right. You really don't have to put it on if it's going to make you uncomfortable. You know, it doesn't make you a girl to wear one, right? Would you like me to help you put it on? Step into it, I'll pull it up. Being so brave for me. So good, mummy. Yeah. Hmm. Is it you are? And I picked up the right size. You can keep your eyes closed if you want. Let me take a look at you. Mm. Right. Let's turn you to face the mirror. I'm here, alright? my hands on your head. Would you open your eyes for me? <laughs> Look at you. Mm -mm. Take a good look. Do you hate it? I didn't ask if you thought whether you looked like a boy enough. Fuck all of that. Do you think it's cute? Do you like how it looks? Then who gives a shit whether or not what gender you think other people think you are? I think you look adorable. And still handsome. There's things I would do to you if you'd let me. <laughs> you say this isn't a date, and yet here we are in the same dressing room trying on cute clothes so close to Valentine's Day. <laughs> mm. We can take it off now if it's too much. Alright. I'll let you take it off. I'll go get it. Switch back. Into my other clothes. You alright? You wanna give me that? Are we buying it or not? Ah, uh, no buts. If it's a yes, then it's a yes. Don't you worry about checking out with it. It's my treat. Mm. Sweetheart. It's fine. Hey, I am so proud of you. Yeah. Of course. That's not stupid. What's stupid is the rules and stereotypes and all of that that you humans put in place around the cut of a piece of fabric. I mean, you all used to wear skirts originally. Back in the old days. Men used to be the one who wore heels and had long hair. Everyone used to wear makeup for a time. Honestly. 
And one's going backwards. I don't know, darling. I just have to have help. I know it's hard. But I'm very proud of you. Stepping outside of your comfort zone. Right. Well. Shall we go? Check these out. Yeah? Oh, darling. Welcome. Oh, come here. Mm. Should I ask? Can I give you a kiss? On the cheek, if you must. Mm. Yeah, mate, we're gonna keep both of these. Uh, cheers for all the my stuff. Come on. Well, honestly, the real tip I guess I can give is you just have to look like you're not insecure. Because, uh, honestly, I feel like you humans do smell fear and insecurities. And if you look like you're nervous about buying something, then probably someone will pick on you for it. But if you look like you're just confident about it, no one will probably say shit. And if they do, and you go, okay, I don't care. If they go, are you really buying that? Are you a boy? And you go, yeah. And move on. If you end up being... If they can tell you're upset, that's when they'll, they'll go in for you more. It's hard. It takes practice. You just gotta walk around like you own the place. People say deep down maybe they're all jealous of you. But I don't know how true that is. Maybe some of them are. But I don't think that's the truth. I think most people are just not very tolerant. I need to stop talking. It's meant to be a happy day. So. You can wait here if you don't want to queue in line with me. Yeah, sure. Morning, love. Yeah, just these things. No, you're right. I've got my own bag. Cheers. You have a nice day too. Shall we? Didn't mean to sneak up on you. <laughs> Come on. This makes me nervous. Unless it's being out with me that's making you nervous. I think, come on. I'm sorry if people stare. <laughs> Do you think it's because they find me attractive? Mm, maybe. Right. I have to think of it like that. I just can't take the rise away from me. From us. <laughs> oh, this is one of them. They've got chokers. Darling, I might spend all of my money in this shop. Oh, 
quick this time. There we go. Okay. Just the one class. There's only one on either end. Still, I could, I guess, loop that through a belt. Or even, I guess, just hang it down. I could hang something over this. Attach charms to it. I might get a couple. We have a jewelry cabinet. And a crystal in there! Alright. Oh, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> I'm not sure if my way of dressing is exactly the same as yours, but if you see anything you like, don't be afraid. Staff who work in these kind of shops are often some of the coolest people. Like, a lot of them tend to wear this kind of fashion anyway, so they're not going to judge you, okay? A bit silly of them too. Their jobs depend on them being able to sell this stuff on other people wearing this stuff. So. Yes. T-shirt rack. Please have fun t-shirts. Oh yes. I mean, every time I go to any sort of shop that sells panties. All I want, all I want is to find a ghost t-shirt. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask? And they and they never have any. I mean, I went in one record store and they still had the ghost t-shirt like on the display. You know, they have like the wall uh, with like of squares with the bull t-shirts in, right? And then underneath they have like the shelves with the t-shirts in. So they didn't have any of the ghost t-shirt left in the shelf, but they still had it on the wall display. So I asked like one of the staff like, hey, do you have any of this left in stock? And they were like, if there's nothing on the shelves, then no. And I'm like, cool, could I possibly, you know? Because you've got to be a bit cheeky sometimes. If you don't ask, you don't get anything, right? And sometimes, if you do ask, you know, can I have the, the one that's left on the display? Sometimes you get it. I did not get it, though. They said, if it's still on the display, then it means we're planning on getting it back in stock. And I'm like, great. I went there like once a week for months after they never got it back in stock and then they took the display one off the display and replaced it with a different shirt i i know online exists but i'd rather not buy some like stolen art off redbubble i'd rather get the official merge and some of my favourite designs they don't have on the UK store. I guess eBay. I'm not against getting things second hand. I quite like going to second hand shops. You never know what you'll find. Though, it's not often I find something just because of the sense of style that I like to dress in. Jewelry? Yes. I do like some antique jewelry. But, uh, No, no. My brother much more likely to find stuff that he likes at like antique vintage fair things. You know, he much more likes older looking clothing, kind of long flowing, you know. But he's a bit of a stuck up prick, so who knows if he'd ever actually agree to buy anything second hand. Though at least being a stuck up prick means he'll more likely buy them from like a modern day independent designer. That's something, I guess. <sighs> yes, he's also an incubus. He's, um. <laughs> You have to get... He's an acquired taste. He can come off a little on... Mean. You know, I mean, all incubus have bad encounters and can get sick of being sexualized and stuff. I'm not sure if this is the way he acts sometimes as a trauma response or if it's that 
all of it kind of went to his head, and now he genuinely has a massive ego. <sighs> no, I, I don't know if I can introduce you. Anyway, oh, <laughs> I thought I'd broken this thing. It just got a bit tangled. I should stop playing with it. <laughs> no, I don't have one. Then I will weep. Hmm? Oh my god, they do have a wristband. Fucking hell, it's a bit much for a wristband. I've never seen ghost stuff in person though, so... It's going in the basket. <laughs> Treating myself, it's Valentine's. Well, I don't have anyone to be my Valentine, might as well be my own. Does that surprise you? No, darling, we're summoned often just for like a like a one night thing. Sometimes you get repeat customers, but the repeat customers are normally people who are just wanting the more intimate activities. And if I thought any of my uh, clients were falling in love with me, I'd probably cut that shit off. It's not a healthy way. To fall in love with someone. Plenty of people think that they are falling in love with an incubus when it's like, no, you just enjoy, you know, the things that we do, but the idea that you have of me, like, you don't know the real me, you know this persona, either dom or sub, that I put on in order to be with you. But we're in a scene, you know, you, they don't know the real me. They're falling in love with some sort of idea. It's like if you tried to fall in love with a celebrity from only seeing interviews of them, you know? Or a, a VTuber from only falling in love with uh, how they present on stream. That's not the real them, you know? So I probably wouldn't let one of my clients uh, be my Valentine, you know? Mm. It's not that I don't have friends, but, uh, I don't know, there's not really anyone Pretty much most of the other concubines that I'm friends with either already have a partner or partners and aren't currently looking for more or uh, happily single, you know, or aromantic. I'm always going to say aromantic when you think. Perhaps things would be easier that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure they don't feel like it is. You're right. She's in like thinking about something. Well, I'm gonna check out with these. No, I've got a bag, it's alright. Cheers, huh? You're right. You went a bit quiet. What was that? 
sure. I, yeah, I'd love to get punched. What did you say? <laughs> like a, like a lunch date. Seeing as I don't have a Valentine yet. Darling. Sweet thing. Are you feeling sorry for me? No, no, I'm not teasing. I, sorry. Force of habit. I sort of always sound like I'm teasing, don't I? I. Not good at being serious. Not used to having people do genuine things for me. Um. You don't have to, you know. We can just keep hanging out. You don't have to call it that. And, but yeah, I suppose people can be Valentines and friends and. <laughs> well, I'm gonna ask then. Well, if you're gonna do it, I'd like you to say the words. No one's ever really asked like that before. You said that so quietly. I'm sorry, no. I, I don't mean to embarrass you. I, I would gladly be your valentine. Whether this is us friends or whether this is a date. Or whether we don't put a label on it. <laughs> Let's go get some food. Thank you all so much for watching, my lovelies. A reminder that custom audio and art commissions are currently open. I have two separate Kofis. You can find links to both of them in the description and on my card. I also have a Patreon. If everyone who followed me that here donated just £1 a month, that would help me out a lot. Rewards for being a Patreon of mine include access to my Discord, your name read aloud in the credits of YouTube videos, and two exclusive spicy audios every single month for the top fledgling tier. And a reminder that I do stream on Twitch normally about three times a week. And a thank you to my familiars. Phoenix JN, Andy Christ, Abby Clayton, Isabel, Three in One Shampoo, Cello Moon, Whipson, Lauren Lovett, Lucio Archives, Ozuki, Sazi NK, Cynical Altura, Rosalie D, Fruit is Island, Liam, Ciel, Nesquik, Vampire Obsessed, Nerd Herder, Mouse, Ali Wally, Jordan Draws, Food Crimes and Fire, Ollie Mac, Rice Puffs, Atis, Shami, Ruby, Glitch, Quentin, Carry On, Seb, Finn, Euronotti, Lady of the Lake, Asterash, Delmo, Psyche, Percy, EJ Fizz, Kudo, Hell, the Solacis, Tiffany Boyer, Void, Aspen, Spider, River Heights Puff, Perry Small, Arbitrary Descriptivism, Fashion Beauty, Luna Vix, Lydia Perez, Kate Fry, Joanna Cole, Roses in Blue, Era, Please Don't Perceive Me, Gucci Kitten, Ray Cards, Umi no Tenshi, Kiara, Indrid, Nico, Rory Winters, Emily, Sweet Jade, A, Tisness, Kit, Your Mom, Arcane, Luftler, N, Nicole, Elizabeth Vaughan, MX Pink Suit 230, Faye Queen, Lilith, Tsukiyomi, Juliana, Lauren Ashby, Zorn NB, 675309, Mix Nixie, Honey Bee Proud, Goth Muppet, Ben Gamer, Peachy, Bumble Boy, Pumpkin Pie 23, Nicole Thompson, Delilah, Valkyrie Ace, Catch You in the Rye, Despair, Caitlin Mitchell, Artie Chummy, Akina Hina, Yellow with a Lisp, Law, Les Andrellis, Gabrielle Vinning, Cynical Simp, Jess, Allura, 
Stephanie Black and Kenya. And a thank you to my familiars, Abby Clayton, Saul Daria, Rundman, Rhiannon and Kai.